Okay, 26 to 28. Okay, so actually, example yan dun sa PIC Q&A. Okay, so ang situation dyan, okay, so sa, uh, sa 26 to 28, okay, so here's the background. Okay, a lessee entered into a lease contract for a lease of land. Okay, for 10 years. Again, the lease is long term. So dahil long term yan, what's the requirement of PFRS 16? Recognize, right of use asset, and lease liability. So by the way, yeah, before, no, dun sa PAS 17, ang land normally operating lease unless merong transfer of ownership. Pero sa PFRS 16, okay, basta long term lease. Mandatory. Magre-recognize ng asset and liability. Okay. The contract provides for annual lease payments of 10000 Payable at the end of each year. Ito nga lang ang problem. With fixed annual escalation of 2% up to year 5. So, ibig sabihin yan, walang problema yung year 1 to year 5. Kasi fixed na yun eh. Okay. So, bali 10,000 sa year 1, mag-increase ng 2% annually hanggang year 5. Okay? Although, it appears variable, ano? Kasi nag increase Pero, fix na siya. Naka-fix sa 2% yung increase niya. Okay? Uh, up to year 5. So, ang mangyayari, at the beginning of year 6, magkakaroon ng rent review. Okay? And the lease payments will be reset to reflect market Okay, uh, including the subsequent escalation rates, if any. The less is incremental borrowing rate is 8%. Okay, so ang question muna sa number 26. At commencement date, so that's when to recognize uh, the right of use asset and lease liability. The lessee should recognize lease liability of how much? So again, present value of lease payments. Discounted at what rate? 8%. Yun nga lang ang tanong, ano yung lease payments? So, yung fixed payments. At ano yung fixed payments na yun? 10,000 sa year 1. mag increase ng 2% ng year 2 to year 5. Okay? Ang problema, hindi pa natin alam starting year 6. Kaya sa year 6 hanggang year 10, yun mo ng 10,000. Kasi subject pa sa rent review eh. Okay? So, considering yung lease payments, ito yung present value. Okay? So, again, year 1, 10,000. mag increase ng 2% starting year 2. Up to year 5. So, dito, from year 2 to year 5, naka-reflect yung 2% increase. <clears throat> okay? Dahil hindi pa nga alam, okay, kung magkano sa year uh, 6 to 10, 10,000 muna. Yun muna ang fixed. Okay? Kasi ang sinasama sa lease payments, yung fixed okay, payments. Ito, fixed na ito eh. So, kaya yan ang sinama lang natin. Hindi kasama yung variable. Okay? Discounted at 8%, 1 to 10 periods. So, yung present value ng fixed payments, ito yung fixed payments. Okay? At commencement date, that's the liability. Okay? So, number 26. Bravo. Okay, 26. Bravo. Okay. So again, ha, dapat ang kasama kasi yung fixed payments. So ito, effectively fixed na kasi naka-fix na yung increase na 2%. So yung year 6 to 10, doon pa lang malalaman beginning of year 6. Kaya hindi mo na isinama sa lease payments. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, next. <clears throat> Number 27. After the rent review, the lessee should recognize an adjustment to lease liability of how much? So as noted earlier, beginning of year 6, magkakaroon ng rent review. So ipifix na yung escalation. Okay? And what happened? Ito na. Assume that after the rent review, the agreed rate for year 6 is now 12000 Okay, with an annual increase of 1% thereafter. So, anong ibig sabihin? Pagdating ng beginning of year 6, fixed na siya. 
na 12,000. At fixed na rin yung increase starting year 7 at 1%. Okay? So, magkakaroon dito of course ng adjustment. Kasi iba na yung basis eh. Iba na yung lease payments. Okay? At dahil nga nag-increase yung babayaran, most likely mag increase ang lease liability dyan. So, ang tanong, how much? Okay. So, ganito man ang gagawin. Okay. First, we need the carrying amount okay, of the lease liability beginning of year 6. So, pwede natin itong gawa ng schedule. So, ito yung schedule. Okay. So, at year 0, so, ito yung uh, commencement date. Okay. So, yung payment is in arrears at the end of each year. So, yung payment, okay, based on this one, schedule. So, applicable to interest, the balance, applicable to principal. So, yung amortization na yan, that will reduce the carrying amount of the liability. Now, at the end of year 5, ito yung balance niya. Yan. Okay, so yan na yung naka-record na lease liability as of the end of year 5. So after the rent review, definitely nagkakaroon ng reassess ng anong adjustment yan dahil nagbago nga yung lease payment. So uh, expect mo na nag-increase yung pabayaran, mag-increase yung liability. Okay, so by the way, no, pa paano nga ulit ang shortcut dyan? Okay, i-discount mo na lang yung remaining payments. So, yung present value nitong remaining payments. Kaya lang, hindi na 6 to 10. Ito na, 1 okay, to 5 periods. Yan. So, yun yung shortcut natin. Or, dahil notice, dahil fiction, pwede mong gamitan ng uh, annuity. Okay. So, at the end of year 5, ito ang nakarecord na liability. Okay. Should be, magkano na siya? Considering itong Okay, rent, uh, effect ng rent review. Gawa natin ang schedule. So starting year 6, hindi na pala 10,000. 12 na pala. Tapos mag increase ng 1% starting year 7. So ito ngayon yung present value ng remaining payments after the rent review. So this one. So starting year 6, 12,000. mag increase ng 1%. Okay. At 8%, so gagamitin pa rin 8% kasi hindi naman to modification of term, uh, hindi naman to lease modification. Okay, so ang gagamitin dyan, okay, so yung uh, uh, unchanged rate. Yan. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, so ito ah, dahil uh, year 6 na ito, 1 period, 2 periods, 3 periods, 4 periods, 5 periods. Okay? So present value of the revised, ha? ito yung revised lease payments. Yan. Okay? So present value of the revised lease payments. So after the rent review. So ito ngayon ang situation. Should be, okay, ito na dapat. So, clear lang natin ating screen. Oh, should be, ito na dapat ang liability based on the revised lease payments. Okay? Currently, at the end of year 5, ito yung balance. Okay. So, we need to what? Increase the liability. So, that's the question in number 27. The lessee should recognize an adjustment to lease liability of how much? Answer, number 27, delta. Okay. So, paano nga uli ang entry? Nag-increase ang liability. Uh, debit, right of use asset. Credit, lease liability. So again, basta nagkaroon ng reassessment, ng remeasurement of liability. Ang adjustment dyan, right of use asset. Unless, na-zero out na yung right of use asset. So again, pagka yung, increase in uh, in, yung decrease in liability ay more than the carrying amount of the right of use asset, yung difference, income in PNL. So again, ano enter dyan? Debit, right of use asset, credit lease, liability. Therefore, it will affect amortization. Okay, so starting year 
So that's the question in number 28. Okay, so year 6 amortization expense. So by the way, ano, dahil ang nirentahan dyan ay land, of course land yan, ang land naman, non-depreciable. Okay, again, ang, ang i-amortize dyan, hindi yung land, ha? yung right to use the land. Okay, so again, ha, ang asset dyan ni Lessie, hindi yung land, ha? hindi niya asset yan. Ang asset dyan ng Lessie, yung right na gamitin yung land na yan for 10 years. Yan. So kaya amortization siya. Okay, so how much? So initially, this one. After 5 years, kunin natin yung carrying amount. Okay, so 68,603 after 5 years times 5 over 10. So ito na yung carrying amount of the right of use asset. Okay, yung asset hindi yung land, ha? yung right na gamitin yung land. Okay. Then, nagkaroon ng adjustment. Ano nga uli yung entry? So, sa adjustment to lease liability, debit, right of use asset, credit lease liability. So, after the adjustment, ito na yung carrying amount of the right of use asset. So, i-amortize siya over the remaining lease term of 5 years. Okay. So, answer, amortization, year 6. Number 28, Del. <clears throat> okay. So, that's, okay. Uh, actually, uh, that is an illustration eh, in the PIC Q&A. So, regarding rent review. Okay. So, again, ah, supposed to be nga, kasama dun sa lease payments, yung fixed, eh paano nga kung mayroong rent review? So, nagkakaroon ng reassessment. So, ina-adjust okay, yung liability. And pag may adjustment sa liability, so may adjustment din sa right of use asset. Okay, next.